So here's a quick recap on the mufflers that um, I have built and then what I'm going to build kind of an overview for what I plan on building for the Gilson 16 horse hydrostatic tractor. If you remember a couple years ago I built this is the first muffler I built for that tractor at least three years ago now a one inch nip I use a wire feed welder this is an old fire extinguisher steel fire extinguisher inch and uh, inch and three-eighths fence pipe as a matter of fact that's that's fence piping and the, the, the little flapper kind of crude kind of crude by design but it worked I think it had a pretty good sound The next muffler I decided to build, I wanted a little bigger can. I was, I was, he said big cans. I wanted to get a different sound. I was hoping to deepen the sound without necessarily making it excruciatingly loud. And this one. I like that sound. The OD on this one is uh, three inches. The OD on this one is about three and three quarters. And then I got the silly idea that I wanted to build a stainless steel exhaust system and buff it, run it on a, on a polishing wheel and polish it up real nice. So I talked to my friend Troy, uh, who's, who's my bro, and he hooked me up. He sent me a box full of parts. This is here is uh, the OD's three and a half. It's about three and a quarter ID. This stuff is, I think he said it was schedule 10. Uh, what does that equate to? An eighth of an inch thick. Eighth inch thick. Wait, wait, wait. Eighth inch thick. I'll show you what my ideas are to put this together and let's see if we can get all the parts cut on the lathe, which is right over there. So if, I, if my imagination is working correctly, I'm going to cut this to be about the same height. I'm basically going to build these dimensions out of stainless because I know this works. I know this height clears the hood when the hood flops open so obviously I have to cut this tubing down um, replicate that length there I'm gonna use these feet I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna cut these but these are feet that were cut off a stainless steel work table I'm gonna use these as the end caps right to give them a nice little rounded edge that's gonna be the output side and then down here now this is a uh, some a reducer and uh, where's my nip? There it is. The plan here is to see if we can see that. The plan here is to part this off to where I have to face this, obviously, right? To where this uh, this pipe will fit just like that into there. Okay, and then this has a broad enough that I can go here. Oops. All right, like that. I'm gonna put a stainless nip in there, which fits really snug. And then this is going to fit here. Now my plan is to shape this edge here down in the lathe to where it fits perfectly with this. I want all my seams beautiful so I can fusion weld this thing together. If, I can, if, I'm, if I'm super fresh, then I can do it without filler weld, which I think would be cool. And then, and then we take this pipe. It's going to be big and, and throaty, and that's kind of what I'm going for. This is uh, inch and three quarters. The, end, uh, the ID on this is inch and three quarters. Room, room. Room, room. Might as well start on this end. It's pretty good enough for me to start here. So let's throw these things in the lake. Let's see what kind of trouble I can get into.
So this was the bottom, the bottom bottom that used to actually contact the floor. So that fell out as soon as that ring was breached. And then there were five more discs. So I scored. That must have been to dissipate the weight. So I got some cool stainless steel discs. Now I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. It's a metal, I'll go in the inventory. Yeah, I know, I know. Pull out of the truck. Shut up. That's exactly the profile I was looking for. Exactly. This weighs just over two pounds. This is 2.1 pounds. This is 3.95 pounds as it sits. I don't have the stainless snip in the bottom so that's going to add a little bit but I need to trim this to fit. I'm going to figure out where this sits on the tractor. Uh, I'm going to build it up to the can and then I'm going to sit on the tractor and see. This one was a little short. This one used to kind of come up and hit me in the face while I was riding. So I suspect I can cut probably 60% of this pipe off here. And then of course I'm going to have a uh, little flapper on the top. But what excites me is that this thing is just balanced here right now. It's not welded. Nothing's welded on it. So that's a pretty good testament to that lathe and making all the mated surfaces perfectly perfect. Because it's balancing on itself. Um, I'll take it apart here in just a sec, but I'll show you. I'm not fooling. I love it, though. I really like the look of that. Exactly what I was looking for. And go. Okay. That's just slid in there. And go. And go. Oops. See? Just stuck in there. So, yeah. Next step is to weld it all together when I get a uh, nice calm day and I can get out there and put this sucker together. I like it. I like it a lot. Thanks for watching. See ya!